for magnesium. So you have to look into the number of petal sepals, whether it's unit fused. So this way you have to write for different flowers. You, you try to get different flowers, and but actually you are not having all the family studies, just one or two family studies, like uh, lily, so these are the few families. Even Fabius also removed this year. We may be having the Solanaceae, Liliaceae, one or two families for the, the practical. Solanaceae means tomato family. Liliaceae, you may get the lily flower, different ornamental plants are there. Or onion, at least you get onion flower for the practical. You can try to know the parts of the different parts of the flower and uh, try to write uh, formula or even diagram also. You can try some extract. Okay, so only that much from the chapter. Actually, that chapter, uh, morphology of flowering plants, is a very big chapter. Uh, starting from the root, root system to uh, seed, seed, even the seed, different types of seeds, different uh, structures, monocot, dicot, fruits, different types of fruits, uh, so many classifications of fruits also there. So, like we have so many, you know, divisions, uh, modification of root, modification of leaf, modification of stems and structures, and those all actually excluded. So, you will be definitely, you know, you will be missing this chapter. For for the need actually so those are uh, concentrating board exam only it is okay so those uh, the student especially this year no the many chapters are many topics or chapters are deleted you, you have to be ready so need it is very important so it is not for nothing announced in the need need uh, complete chapter is there so need is based on the complete Insert a chapter. The no deleted was the need. You have to think if you are writing need, then you need to read complete. For the board exam, it is okay. Just only the flower from that chapter. So, any doubt in the chapter, previous chapter? Anybody? If you have any doubt, ask me. In the floral uh, diagram, or floral formula, or any any parts, anything, any in the any doubt, anybody can ask me now. So, first two, few five minutes, we will discuss the previous topic. Then we'll move on to the next chapter. So that the floor chapters will waste thoroughly. And even the practical also one classes we conducted. Uh, practical actually you know, we'll do in the lab in the class in the uh, school bio lab. Um, but anyhow, you know, these are the ideas. These are the things we are going to do in the lab. You have to take a I will be giving a flower, you to do LS or CS of the ovary. That is the main part of the, the practical. LS length is cutting of the flower into two half and the you need to take a seal of the ovary. Take a ovary innermost to one and take a thin slice of the ovary and keep it in the slide. So these are the, the most important part in the practical. The remaining are very easy. So just observe the petals and write notes and observe the antrisiums and comment on antrisiums like the question will come. So antrisium is epipetalus, so you have to write epipetalus. Antrisium is the how many number, uh, how, how is the arrangement. So like that you have to write, that's that. So for the practical. Okay, then you have uh, only flower about flower we discussed. Uh, any doubt in this? Anybody know what is the epiphyllus? Epiphyllus attachment of stamens. The statement of attachment to perinac. Uh, very good. Stamens attached to perianth. And that is known as epiphyllus. Hypogynous ovary, how to make in the floral formula? How to write in the line should be drawn under the G. Hypogynous flower. Under, very good. Okay, hypogynous flower. Flower is hypogynous. That line, no, the underline, the line is actually there is a flower below the gynecium. That is a hypogynous flower. So, very good. So, this way you need to practice. Very simple things only. So, you revise one or two times, you know, uh, very interesting. So, study about the flower. So, that's all from the chapter. But uh, you had to be very careful if you need to revise it. Because of the shortage of time, because of this, this corona, uh, this, this pandemic issue, and uh, many uh, topics and the chapters are deleted. So that is unavoidable. For the for if you appear for the need, then you have to be thorough with the other topics too. Okay. Then the next uh, topic is we'll discuss next uh, topic under the need. So many portions are deleted. You see the deleted portions are loaded somewhere here. Okay, these are the these are the parts. 
deleted. First chapter is deleted, living world. And under the plant kingdom, angiosperm is deleted completely. These are the deleted part, actually. Excluding this, we have for the board exam. These are, these are the topics, no need to study for the board exam. For this year only. And the chapter 5, you know, current chapter. So what we discussed so far, the morphology of lorry plant, morphology and modifications, you know, morphology of different parts of a plant, root system completely removed, stem, leaf, fruit, seeds, all removed. And uh, you, so you have only leftover is a flower, only the flower is there, remaining all removed. Description of families, under the description of families, you have the Solanaceae, Liliaceae, Fabaceae, like this, then the Fabaceae is removed. Fabaceae means legume family, so that is also removed. So these are the removed from the things. So family is Fabaceae is for the practical purpose. It is a, then after this next uh, chapter, anatomy of flowering plant. Anatomy of flowering plant. Uh, functions of different tissues and systems of dicot and monopod, secondary growth. These are the topics uh, removed. But uh, since we studied one part in the uh, flower and one we go for the next chapter is chapter 7, structural organization in animal. So later on we will come, we just we complete uh, many units, we try to complete many units, the term 1 exam or term 2 exam. So we, we have, so already I told you, uh, we will be touching every unit, plant physiology, okay, otherwise it will be dry, only classification. Here see the plant kingdom we are not completed, excluding angiosperm we need to complete, the remaining all completed, so like that. So we keep one or two chapters later on, uh, if we complete all diversity of living organisms, all the classification it will be very dry, so you difficult to study. So that is why I will try to complete balance plant and uh, animal studies. So that is the reason and the and beginning, so I taught a few topics on the animals, few topics on the uh, animal like circulatory system, respiratory systems, these are the things we discussed. Next, uh, after the flower study, the plant morphology one, so this is a unit two, structural organization in animal center, plants. The plants, so we discussed uh, one chapter, that morphology and flowering plants, they are flower and uh, floral family studies, family studies and then the floral diagram. Description of the families as actually mainly for the uh, practical. The knowledge will be useful for the theory, but the, this is mainly for the practical. I will explain Solanaceae and the Liliaceae family. Then structural organization of animal. Now we move on to chapter seven. In animal under unit two, one chapter we take for animal studies. Structural organization in animal, morphology, anatomy and functions of different organs. So these are the uh, morphology, anatomy of digestion. Anatomy means different uh, functions of organs. System, system of insect only removed. So these are the cockroach. These are removed from the removed chapter. Under this chapter, morphology, anatomy and functions of different parts of the cockroach. Completely the cockroach, uh, the study, type study, animal cockroach, looking into the morphology, external structures and internal structures. That is known as anatomy, digestive system, all the system of cockroach. It is given elaborately in your book. So those, uh, that is explored. So uh, remaining topics are as it is. So remaining topics are under the structural organisms of animals, all animal tissues. So we'll be discussing animal tissues today. But this is not for the term one. Term one examinations, we have till flower. So under chapter seven, except cockroach, you see the cockroach studies is there. No, this is excluded. Morphology of cockroach, external structures, male, female differences. So these all. Then anatomy is differences. So like digestion. And anatomy, respiratory system, circulatory system, this all system, reproductive system. So this is completely uh, removed for this year. So we will be left with the uh, 
tissue systems, different tissues. So under this term, we will be discussing structural organization of animals. First one is animal tissues. Okay. Animal tissues. Can you tell me what is animal? What is tissue? Anybody? Collection of cells. What is tissue? Collection of cells. Collection of cells. Okay, very good. So, group of collection of cells, similar cells actually. Yeah? So, muscle means muscle cells. Then only, so if muscle tissue means it is made up of muscle cells. So if it is bone, made up of bone cells. Collection of similar cells to perform similar function. So that is the correct definition of the tissues. So, tissue means it is a next level. After the cell level, next is cell aggregate to form the tissues. But uh, the similar cells, muscle cells, all will be unique muscle cells. They perform uh, functions, locomotion or contraction, relaxation like that. Bones for support. So, like and these are the uh, so types of different types of uh, cells forms uh, tissues. We will be discussing different types of tissues in animals. So, tissue is a group of similar cells having the specific function. Group of similar cells. If we take epithelium, made up of epithelial cells. If it is a bone, bone cells. So, these perform a specific function. Function of bone is different, function of blood is different. You know? So, that is why they perform a specific function. Each tissue performs specific function. It is a group of similar tissue. This is the definition of similar cells underlying and specific functions. These are the key points uh, while you're defining the tissues. So, animal tissues are divided into epithelial, connective, muscular, and neural. So these are the simple you would have been studying in the lawyer classes. Epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscular and neural tissues. Epithelial tissue means it is a covering. For example, skin or lining. Covering means only the outside covering is a skin, but internal lining also there, no? like alimentary canal. If you say the mouth to anus, that lining is made up of epithelial cells. If we take a blood vessels, the lining of blood vessels inside, outside, it is made up of epithelial cells, especially lining and the covering of the, the body, lining of different organs. You take ovidect, you know, the inner lining is there. So these are the, the tissues found in the covering, out, uh, covering or lining of uh, different organs. So connective tissues, connective tissues. So epithelial cells, uh, under that, we will be discussing different types of epithelial cells. Okay, then what is connective tissues means it connect various tissues, connect various organs. For example, bone. No? Bone is a connective tissue. Bone connect various parts of the body. Muscles, then muscle to bone, bone to muscles, uh, or organ to the body, uh, appendicular, axial, skeleton. So it connect various organs. You know, that is called the connective tissues. Any other connective tissues there? Yeah? Tissues, anything? Any other connective tissues? Anybody? Uh, what is blood? Blood is a connective tissue or not? Yes, sir. Blood. Yes, blood is one. Blood is, of course, blood is a liquid connective tissues. It's only fluid connective tissues because it connects various organs. It supplies nutrients to various body. So it interlinks to connect various organs. It is the one which is supply food, oxygen, or remove waste from various organs. So it interconnect to various organs. All organs are in the body are connected with the, the blood. So blood is a fluid connected tissue. So it's a special uh, uh, case. What is there? The nature is fluid nature. Okay. Next is muscular tissues, muscles. All the muscles comes under this. Major type of muscles like skeletal muscles. Uh, yes. Yes. Can you say me? What are the muscles? Skeletal. Muscles are smooth muscles, skeletal product. muscles, triangle. Smooth muscles. Smooth muscles. Then skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscles. 
skeletal muscles. Okay, which is uh, skeletal muscle otherwise known as? Skeletal muscles otherwise known as? Skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle. Oh, skeletal muscles. Okay, actually totally three muscles are there. No? One is heart muscles. Other muscles attached to the bone. Another muscle is not attached to the bone. Okay, but uh, the names are different. Voluntary muscle, smooth muscle. Okay, so voluntary muscles are actually the skeletal muscles. Voluntary muscle, other name is skeletal muscles. Another name of the same is the striated muscles or striped muscles. Striped, striated, voluntary, skeletal, all same only. Okay, all for the uh, uh, striped muscles or skeletal muscles. Then the smooth muscle is a smooth muscle is soft in nature. Our muscle biceps, you know, in the hand, this is all the hard muscles, walking uh, movement we use. So there is a hard muscles which are attached to skeleton. Some are not attached to skeleton. Any example can you give the muscles which is not attached to the skeleton. Example for smooth muscles. Smooth muscles. Anybody, any? Which are not attached to skeleton, but it should be muscle. So what are the structures? Yes. They are not attached to muscles. Which one? Which one? Ear. Ear means? Ear, ear, sir. Ear. Yeah, ear, okay, ear is made up of muscles only, skeletal muscle. Is there is muscle. muscle is there, our muscle is rudimentary, not well developed, vestigial. In other mammals, no, like deer, dog, all the, they can move the ear lobe, no, elephant all. Muscle is well developed. Eh? But uh, we don't use no, the, the ear lobe, that's why the muscles are, muscles are there. These muscles are skeletal muscles. Instead of skeleton cartilage is here, instead of bone cartilage is here. But uh, these are uh, smooth muscles are not connected to bones or cartilage. Should not be connected to bone or cartilage. Those are smooth muscles. Nothing but the intestine. See the intestine start from mouth to anus. No? These are not connected. Okay, the, in the alimentary canal. Is intestine is made up of muscle. That muscle is smooth muscles. Again, no, one more uh, example I can give you, blood vessels. See the body blood vessels are there. The blood vessels are also made up of muscles, like a rubber tube. It's a muscle. These muscles are smooth muscles. They pass, even the, you see that uh, pulse also you can feel in the arteries. It extends, uh, you know, it recoil and coil like this. So, it, uh, it is made up of smooth muscles. The smooth muscles are Remember that the function is involuntary, involuntary in function. They don't obey our will. For example, intestine, if you take the food, once if you take a food, morning the food, it is, it is traveling. Long tunnel, it is traveling long tunnel, around 9 meter tunnel from mouth to anus. Next day morning only, it reaches to the rectum. So it is keep traveling for 9 meter length, imagine, 9 meter length tunnel. For the movement of the food, you what you have to do, you have to move. You have use if you are idle one place, if you are sleeping always bed, so that uh, uh, we give a lot of sickness. So you should not be, you know, any animal does like that, no. So after eating or water, maybe most of the time, except the sleep duration night, you have to be very active. When you are very active, what happens, every function, every system will function properly. You have taken uh, maybe this one or two kg of food in the morning. So so it has to, or lunch one, this heavy meal, like biryani meal, it taken. It has to travel to the end, the nine meter length is the industry. It has to travel. Nobody is there pushing it. It has to take place. So it has to take place. You body movement and so many things in what helps. So those movements you cannot control. What I want to say, the foot movement can you control? So next to meal, I will not get uh, maybe uh, father went outside, mother is not home, in the relative house. Please, you can you know, wait till they come. Only the dinner, I can skip the lunch. No, they won't listen to you. So that food, it once you swallow it, out of your control. So it will go, it will, it is automatic, no? So you uh, cannot control the movement. That is known as a voluntary or involuntary. I'm confused here. Involuntary. The function is involuntary. So involuntary. Involuntary means will not obey our will. So make a correction here. 
involuntary. The muscles, the smooth muscles are involuntary in nature. They don't obey our will. So involuntary muscles, blood vessels uh, keep pumping the blood, keep you know the flowing, the blood flows in the blood vessels. You, you cannot control. If you think, you cannot control it. Suppose you're folding your finger, you can do it. Folding your hand, you can, somebody, if you want to kick, you can use your leg. Muscles, okay. Uh, lightly or heavy, so okay, how you can use it. Folding, you want to run, you can run. Okay, you can fold your uh, arms, legs. These are the muscles which obey your will, listen to you. These muscles are known as a voluntary muscles. These are muscles, otherwise, you can easily identify these are attached to the bone. The muscles which attach the bone definitely will be hard. They are striped in nature. So, these are the things you have to know. Except one muscle is there, combination of these two, we will discuss under the muscular system, this cardiac muscle. So the, that is a totally different. They have the combination of these two. They structure like a strong muscle, skeletal muscle, function like a smooth muscles. They, they are taking the positive of both side. So they structurally like a striped muscles and uh, functionally like a involuntary. They don't obey our will. So combination. Plus one step ahead, it is, it is a branched also. Striped muscles are generally not branched here. Here the striped is a hard muscles, powerful muscles plus branched that gives more strength. That is why the heart beats continuously without any rest, no rest at all from the child. You now the baby formation, the embryo itself will start beating in one month. First, the organs develop heart. It starts beating in the one month duration itself. Then till death, it won't take rest. You no, know, it continuously it beats. So that is why it has its made up of special muscles called as a cardiac muscles. Okay, so these are the things we'll be discussing one by one. Then uh, neural tissues. Under the neural tissues, we'll be discussing all types of nerve cells. Ne neural tissues made up of neurons, nerve cells. So these are the things one by one we'll be discussing. First one is epithelial cells. Epithelial cells covering tissues. Epithelial cells covering tissue. Okay. Uh, it has free surface that faces a body fluid or outside the environment. It has free surface means it is a covering. It is a covering tissues or lining tissues, I said. Covering tissues means it faces the body fluid. Body fluid, in case of blood vessels, innermost layer of blood vessels, you know, the squamous epithelium. The name is squamous epithelium. Tunica intima, like that they say. Artery blood vessels, no? artery veins blood vessels already be completed. The innermost single layer cell, no? capillary is made up of only that single layer cells. So that effective diffusion occurs. The single layer cells, after you have, after the uh, tunica intima or squamous epithelium, they have extra round muscles and the connective tissues are there. But um, the innermost layer of the blood vessels, is facing the body fluid. That's why it is you know, what is why it faces body fluid. You no, know, in case of uh, internal one or ovitect or urethra. You no, know? so these are the inner lining that is also made up of epithelial cells. So urethra, following tube, blood vessels, alimentary canal, all the innermost one facing body fluid. Or in the case of skin, it is facing outside environment. Or it or outside environment. Outside environment means skin. Skin is the outside covering of the cell. So these are generally epithelial cells. So it has a one free surface. Either it faces the uh, environment outside, like skin, or it faces internal fluid, like you know, uh, epithelium, squamous epithelium of the blood vessels, all uh, the the, uh, the body tubes, the track, trachea, all other you know, structures, ciliated epithelium in the trachea that facing inward. So like this. Then the other uh, the point covers or lines the body. It may covers or lines the body. In the case of skin, it covers the body. In the case of other uh, structures like squamous epithelium, the lines the body part. Trachea or lined by uh, special types is known as a ciliated epithelium. Trachea having some cilia, cilia beat outward to remove the dust particles. Like that. Functionally, they are modified. Okay, these are the covering or lining of the body parts. Cells are compactly packed, no or little intracellular matrix is there. So cells are tightly packed, no gap at all, not loosely connected. In case of plant cells, you can see the many that are loosely. In case of adipose tissues, no cells are loosely connected in our body, no loosely connected, easily remove the fat. 
but these cells are very tightly connected it forms a complete covering so that is why that is, these are the quality of the the cells epithelial cells it forms a covering or lining of the cells organs they are uh, very uh, compactly packed no gap in between the cells so intracellular space is absent see there is no space in between like this so epithelial cells are divided into two major groups simple and compound simple is single layer compound means many layer you can see the picture is only one layer in case of squamous epithelium i said no single layer of epithelium so that easily the oxygen diffuses into the body carbon dioxide from the body diffuses into the blood this one and the compound epithelium or many like skin made up of many epithelia it is very extremely thin layers it won't give a much protections small scratch you know it will cause a big damage muscles and other things will be nerves will be visible that is why the skin is thick a little bit thicker comparing to the other layers it is either simple or many layers simple is a single layer one and multi layer is known as a compound epithelium simple epithelium and compound epithelium so these are the two types right not on epithelium so if it comes then you have to describe the both simple and the compound two and a half mark for simple and two and a half mark for the compound so like that we said the question you have to describe all the types of the simple all the sub type of the compound so simple epithelium composed of already said is a single layer of cells it lines the body cavity or ducts or tubes anything so inner lining that is made up of a uh, epithelium cells based on the structure and uh, these are divided into three types simple epithelium divided into three types squamous epithelium cuboid epithelium and the columnar epithelium so remember what question is asked then based on that you have to write for three more question we may ask you know comment on simple epithelium write note on simple epithelium or give a comment on simple epithelium that means you have to write all the three to get three marks you have to complete squamous epithelium and what is a squamous epithelium where it is found one example must even they don't ask also you have to write example to have a complete notes cuboid epithelium and the columnar epithelium so these are the uh, three sub type of the simple epithelium first one is a simple epithelium and the squamous epithelium this is a very important uh, epithelium forms a lining of a alveolus lining of the blood vessels wherever the exchange occurs no this it is there that's a simple squamous epithelium exchange of gases or exchange of oxygen exchange of gases occurs in the lungs we discussed in the respiration letter and exchange of gases again occurs in the uh, between blood and the tissues blood and tissues because in the lungs what happened the alveolus one of the alveolus is given in the alveolus of surrounding the alveolus is a capillary you see this highly magnified diagram it is a highly magnified diagram this capillary is rbc rbc we cannot see at all no microscopy are so big that means highly magnified diagram so each inner one is the alveolus air sac lungs is made up of air sacs air sacs is surrounded by very thin blood vessels network of blood vessels no these are known as a capillary and the distance very low 0.05 micron pro meter that is extremely thin the the you know the, the gap between these two alveolus and the wall of the blood capillary so very tight uh, uh, the connection is there between these two so that easily the diffusion occurs if if, if it is like the rubber sheet or plastic then the diffusion cannot occur so this is made up of very thin layer of cells that is known as a squamous epithelium squamous epithelium always in the wet nature it's not be dry if it is dry the division will not occur it should be more wet wet in nature and it is made up of single cell that is a very important thing so what is the, the nature of the squamous epithelium it is made up of thin layer made up of flattened cell irregular boundaries the boundaries are not regular but there is no gap actually so it fits all the ways like a puzzle no you say the zigzag we are connecting so this way you know it has a many connection but no, there is no gap in between so the boundaries are irregular the border is irregular is not like a round oval or rectangular the shape is irregular shape but anyhow these are connected without any space in between but extremely thin 
uh, flat and plate like very thin flat layer so these are found in walls of the blood vessels and the lungs alveoli you know that this is mainly for the diffusion of gases or exchange of nutrients okay so that is the reason these are very flat extremely thin and these are found in the the wall of the blood vessels and the uh, alveoli or air sacs of the lungs the location is very important so the diagram you know it may not be asked for you but this diagram alveolar diagram is required but the flattened cell this diagram simplified diagrams you can make it just no need to draw all the cells only just three four cell if you give it is fine just one fourth of the diagram you can make it no need to make you know no need of repetition no need to make you know one full page of this picture just one corner we can take you know, one fourth or you know, one sixth of the diagram so showing the cells three four cells if you draw it is fine it is good you know so then the cells are flat cells is called the squamous epithelium where it is found it is found in the blood vessels and uh, what is the function so this way you have to write notes so three way three points you can mention about the structure about the location about the functions so any doubt in this students any doubt in simple epithelium simple epithelium so we will discuss the squamous epithelium okay yes yes anything okay you can ask doubt also at the end no problem uh, next one is a cuboid epithelium cuboid epithelium see the structure this structure is uh, not necessary for the exam no need to draw this all like you know, nephron structures where it is found all things but you can write where it is found location this structure is not needed but only this picture the first picture is given now cube like structure cells these structures you can draw very small piece okay small piece of this four or five cells you know but the the cell shows like you know cube cube like cube but cube like sugar cube you see that cube cube type so it should be cube not flat the previous one is a flat thin flat thin and flat you see the cell structure is a flat thin proportionally you have to draw if you are drawing this cell for like you know um, 1 mm or 2 mm only i see you have to draw the height if you are drawing 2 mm you can make here the uh, maybe 10 or, or 5 mm or 8 mm you can draw this structure proportionally it is larger height is more in case of columnar again still double of the size bigger 10 mm 1 cm you can draw in the uh, columnar epithelium columnar epithelium still bigger column column means like pillar so cuboid is in between first one is a plate like second is now we are discussing cuboid cube like cells they are cube like cells this is about the structure and coming to the location they are found in the glands and the Uh, ducts, ducts of glands and the tubular parts of the nephron. Many ducts are there, like pancreatic duct, uh, or you know, many ducts in the glands. Even ovary also secretes some hormones. You know, so these are the things. Uh, and salivary glands, uh, uh, even uh, soot glands. Uh, uh, many glands in the body they have this uh, cuboid epithelium. In the nephron, the tubular part of the nephron. proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubule all the other parts now these are having the the tubular is a bowman capsule is different bowman capsule inside it has a squamous epithelium inside but remaining the tubular part pct dc uh, henle loops uh, collecting that these are the tubular parts these are having the the cells called the cuboid epithelium so location is ducts of the glands and the tubular part of the nephrons tube part of the nephrons what is the function secretion and absorption function is secretions and absorption so in the gland what is the function of the gland it is generally secretions the gland having the smaller or larger ducts smaller ducts from the attached to the gland cells the larger ducts is attached to the organs where it is poured like soot glands from the origin from the soot glands itself then it soot pour then it opens outside so duct the soot duct and open outside the skin so this way so this are also having the some properties like a secretions or absorption in nature 
so here in the in the kidney tubules it helps in uh, some places secretion tubular secretions you know this no here this part dct distal convoluted tubule helps in tubular secretion and in the proximal convoluted tubule you see the pct proximal convoluted tubules is called pct here it helps in absorption very quickly it absorbs a useful substance so it helps in absorption and sometimes it helps in secretions absorption and secretion of substance is a function of the cuboid epithelium it is attached to the gland the tubes of the glands ducts of the glands are tubular part of the nephron that we can make a note and one extra point is given epithelial of proximal convoluted tubules of nephron has micro villus micro villus micro villus are uh, in the this part micro villus are generally you know intestine also you study it in small intestine in the small intestine Uh, the parts which absorb the nutritive food digestive system is over which part of the intestine having microvilli or generally villi villi again divided into smaller villi is called the microvilli okay the so uh, what is the nature why it is uh, the number of villi found in the small intestine it should be instead of round you know the, the epithelium is round it, it is forming a number of uh, villi number of foldings in folding like finger like foldings what is the advantage of this folding anybody if the surface is instead of round it is folded into many finger like increase the absorption space which one um the folding folding helps in increase the absorption space okay very good increase the surface area for absorption surface area is increased suppose you make a okay like inner lining smooth lining just one paper you can give it you can fold it that's it but if you make the paper folded 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 no but you need even 10 paper also you can keep it folding by folding you can keep it in you know, like that many inner foldings are there in foldings even the stomach also there are foldings no that called rugae gastric rugae if you take a heavy meal large meal it can extend or it may become come back if the folding is not there it difficult to extend it may burst okay so the it gives way more of just give more surface area increase the surface area no that is the purpose of that microvilli wherever this there increase the surface area for the absorption so that is why this microvilli are found in that so because now in the kidney while filtering well, many useful substances are filtered out so it has to be get absorbed into the blood this way we less are there uh, these are the things we we'll discuss in the excretory system Okay, so this is about the cuboid epithelium. Where is cuboid epithelium is found? The cells are cube-like. You draw one or two, four, five cells. Enough. Okay. So this is about the cuboid epithelium. Where it is found, small diagram. The how the cells are uh, uh, look like, cube-like cells. About the cells, then where they are found in the glands and that's of the glands and kidney tubule. There is nephron. Function is absorption and the secretions. Next one is columnar epithelium. columnar epithelium sorry what happened so sorry you can see the cells are tall cells pillar like cells we can take a one centimeter picture so these are tall cells a composed of tall and slender cells columnar epithelium thick cells and their nuclei are located at the base the nuclei are located at the base or it is okay that's not a big thing the cells are tall that is a very important point and free surface may have microvilli or sometimes it may have epithelium or anything free surface that depends on the functions if it is in the, in the intestine intestine not all the parts only the small intestine part they have microvilli the free surface may have means not uh, always so some places in the esophagus no villi in the uh, other large intestine also no villi villi 
the small intestine. Small intestine is the longest part, around 5 meter of the alimentary canal. Our alimentary canal around 5 meter is the small intestine. So they have the uh, microvilli. Microvilli may be present, you know, some part of the simple epithelium, especially small intestine. Right? This is found in the line of stomach and yes, columnar epithelium. Some intestines walls, you know, they have this columnar epithelium. So these cells are the cells are the long pillar like cells that is a fun uh, that's the first point second point is where it is found stomach intestine what is the function secretion and absorption so it able to absorb substance and secrete substance so wherever sometimes it's needed it is it is secrete or it absorbs substance so some secretion means so you see that uh, all the enzymes to be secreted into the food food in the stomach the enzymes are common from the stomach walls only. Most of the glands are found in the stomach walls. No? So this uh, stomach wall is made up of uh, epithelium, columnar epithelium. They secrete enzymes, they secrete number of hormones for the digestion. And also it helps in absorption, especially small intestine, the columnar epithelium helps in absorption. So they, it is a small intestine, it's a villi. The villi were focusing only on the, the wall. And, uh, uh, the outermost like inside they have blood vessels the villages are having lacteal blood vessels and extra but only we are concentrating on the, the outer lining there are many uh, cells in the intestine foldings or the stomach and the small intestine duodenum region there are many glands in there they secrete the juice through the the outer covering epithelium through the columnar epithelium it enter into the, the stomach cavity where it gets digested stomach or duodenum is a place where the maximum the digestion is the part where maximum digestion occurs in the stomach. Most of the enzymes are secreted in the duodenum part. You know that uh, pancreatic juice and the uh, bile also poured into that hepatopancreatic duct. So that opens in the duodenum part. So digestion maximum occurs in the duodenum. After that, it is uh, the uh, ileum part. In the last ileum part of the in the small intestine is the area of absorption. More absorption occurs in the second part of the intestine, small intestine. So about the columnar epithelium is a tall slender cells. It is formed in the stomach and intestines lining, all of the stomach and intestine lining. Then it secretes and absorbs the food. That's it. Okay, so these are the three major types of epithelial cells we discussed. Now coming to the special type, special type under the epithelium. So we are discussing only simple epithelium now. We are not started the compound or or is it uh, multi layered? What we discussed, try multi layered or uh, we, we simple tissue solid is compound that is called compound or multi layered epithelium. Multi layered epithelium we'll discuss uh, after this if time is there. Okay, then what are the some special type modification of a uh, epithelium? Simple epithelium, the simple epithelium itself. It is columnar epithelium. The columnar epithelium is a cilia. So, in the cilia present surface, it is known as a ciliated epithelium. It's not a big thing, it's not a big difference. Same cells, see the columnar cells, the cells are like cells. So we can draw like this, only four cells are there. So, this is we can draw the diagram. Time is there, you can draw. No problem. But uh, a picker, right? Quickly, where it is uh, all the bigger things. So we can draw the diagram, but no need to spend much time. Tonight. So these are the columnar diagram cells and uh, free surface having cilia. The cilia are on the surface. That is why it is known as a ciliated epithelium. Simple ciliated epithelium. If it is present in the columnar epithelium, it is called as a columnar. Modification of columnar epithelium, ciliated columnar epithelium. If it is found in the cuboid cells, simple cuboid ciliated epithelium. Right? It. So we have to say the differences. Cilia spheres are found on the surface of the cells. They are present in the surface of the hollow organs like branchioles, even trachea, branchioles, fallopian tubes. You know the function the cilia is a, a small hair-like structures that helps in movement, beating movement. And uh, these are definitely found in the certain organs where the movement is required. Movement is required means fallopian tube. What is the need of uh, cilia in fallopian tube? 
Anybody? What is the need of cilia? Anything moves in the collagen tube? No. Gamete. Which gamete? Egg. Egg. Very good. Egg or non motile. Egg cannot move. No. Egg don't have locomotive organ. Sperm, no problem. The sperm have tail. Whereas egg, there is no tail. So it has to move with the action of the cilia. The cilia drives faster towards inward. It drives towards inward. There will be fluid inside. There will be body fluids. The fluids will be inside. They create a water current by beating of the cilia. So the egg is released. Egg and the follicular tube, there is no direct connection actually. So at the time of ovulation, the fallopian tubes, you know, the funnel-like structures, like ampulla, this part, ovitect funnel, no, that comes closer. The finger-like part of the ovitect funnel is called fimbriae. This all just to gather the egg, collect the egg. So egg will be dragged inside. Also, another one creates suction force, like beating of cilia. Beating of cilia towards the inward. Inward means direction of uterus. The beat inwards, the fluid flows towards the inward. That create a water current. So with that, it able to move. So there, the cells of the fallopian tubes, inner lining of the cells of the fallopian tube having cilia, it is known as a modified columnar or cuboid epithelium, comes under this type. Similarly, in the trachea, if you look at the middle diagram, no? the trachea, they have the, the cilia, the columnar epithelium, the cilia is there, till the branchiole, trachea to branchiole, this beat inward or outward? Supposed to beat inward or outward? Cilia is supposed to beat in the trachea branchial. Inward. Inward. If we're beating inward, what happens? It will take all the dust into the lungs. It beat out, outward. Outward. Inward means towards the alveolus. Outward means towards the nostril, nose. So it has to beat upward. So if you beat upward, all the, the dust particles, whatever, enter. No? It, it may go out. Sometimes, you know, nose hairs also there. It has a function. It filters the, the dust particle. Only the bigger dust particles uh, are that, you know, like cotton. These all can be easily filtered. Then uh, after that, it enters into the lungs. Smaller particles are driven out, driven out. And that is carried by expired air. That means air is SL. It removes it. So the beating of cilia is outward. That cilia helps in removal of the dust particles not deposited into the Lung. So this is a special type of epithelium, ciliated epithelium. Nothing but the cilia is there apart from the normal cells. This is not in the squamous, mostly in the columnar epithelium or squamous epithelium. They have the cilia. Then others sometimes they say columnar or cuboid or modified. These are the larger cells. So it can accommodate the cilia or it can accommodate the glands or other structures. So and this is known as a glandular epithelium. Epithelium, so glandular epithelium, the glands are unicellular, multicellular glands. So these are the simple cells, simple unicellular glands and multicellular glands. Unicellular glands are consist of uh, uh, isolated cells, single, single cells, like this. Single cells will be there. It is called unicellular glands. When the many cells are there, or many cells are there like this, it's multicellular glands are there. Single cell glands, example, coplet cells of the limitric canal. Coplet cells, you know, you secrete. Anybody, what it secrete? We discussed coplet cells secrete. In the stomach, it secrete mucus. It secrete mucus. The multicellular glands are like salivary glands. It secrete saliva. I think the so, time is up now. Uh, modification of columnar. We will discuss in the next class. Okay, one more, one more window. Compound epithelium. So we will discuss under this modification of compound epitheliums under this gland exograin endograin glands. Or up to here, we finished up. Exograin. Exograin means simple ring is a, is a is a ducted gland. Gland with the duct is called exograin gland. The gland without duct is called as a endograin. Without duct or ductless gland. All the hormone secreted glands are endograin glands. Hormones are not carried by the duct. For example, like pituitary, there is no duct. It is directly poured into the Black thyroid is attached to the near the trachea neck region. No? These are the one, there is no duct at all. But the secretions are carried all parts of the body that not by the duct, it is by the blood. How it is carried means you are trying to get through the blood, adrenal, pancreas. No, these are but the pancreas is a 
different pancreas we will discuss in a separate case so both the tractors are ducted and ductless gland ducted means it is secreted enzymes ductless part is called as a islet of longer form no? pancreas that secrete hormones it acts as a both the ducted and ductless glands and the other glands are all the hormone secreting glands are ducted less Glands or endocrine glands. All the secret milk, mammary gland have a duct, and the oil gland, you know, so there's a basis gland, a basis duct is a ear wax, seriminiferous gland. Cerumen means ear wax. So there's a saliva, salivary gland, salivary duct, and mucous glands are, you know, they all have the ducts. So glands they have the duct. So salivary glands have the duct. So these are glands are known as exogrine glands. Glands with the duct, so the secretions are carried by the duct, and the uh, endocrines are also the glands which secrete hormones, but the secretions are carried by blood, not by the duct. Okay, so up to here we complete, and next class uh, we will continue. I'll revise it. I'll ask questions today. You don't have much time to you know to discuss a question. Next class, uh, beginning ten minutes, we will revise. I'll ask you question. Prepare. I will send you this copy PDF copy to her in WhatsApp. Okay. Anything? Any doubt? Students, any doubt? No sir. Okay. So next class is beginning. Ten minutes. I'll ask you questions. Be prepared. I'll send this copy in your WhatsApp. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you sir.